Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Daisy. We are on uh, right now. It is 2019, December 24th. The reason why I'm saying that is because we're talking about the current state of Daisy right now on consoles, Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. For Daisy 106, the current state of the game: how playable is it? Uh, what to expect? Good, the bad. Uh, I get quite a few of these questions during the live stream, so I thought I would throw it into a video and hopefully it makes sense and it's useful for you guys out there that have those questions because I know right now, let me go ahead and check the devs um, Twitter here, currently, and again this is 2019 right now, uh, December 24th, there is a sale on Steam and Bohemia's website, let me make sure I get this correct. Hopefully I don't get my cheeks collapsed right here. Okay, so it's 40% off until January 2nd. Um, for the Xbox One, it is 40% off until January 2nd, 2020. And for the PlayStation 4, it is 40% off until January 6th, uh, 2020. So I know a lot of people, this being the holidays, people have some cash and they're like, hey, I'm, I was thinking about getting the game. So, oh my goodness, I really got to do this before my character eats it. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this while talking about the current state of the game, so hopefully I don't mess this up. There are a lot of zombies there. That's not good for me. Okay, so I, we've been playing this a long time on the PC and on the console. So, really, we have a lot of experience both. Um, well, we played this during the early access as well, so we have a good idea of what's coming down the pipe. Uh, so right now, I think one of the biggest issues... Ooh, yeah. One of the biggest issues we're dealing with is desync. What is that? Basically, items getting stuck in places they're not supposed to be. Um, so, for example, in this bag, I'm actually really trying to survive this. Yikes. Let's see if we can. Um, so, items in a bag will get stuck where, uh, or if you go loot another bag and it looks like you picked something up, but really you didn't. Um, it's super annoying. I, I know it's been around for at least three iterations. Um, or I should say major releases for the game. And uh, one of the things the developers have... I'll actually read the post here in a sec, but... The developers left a post. Oh, that door closing freaked me out. Okay, so desync's one of the biggest things. Um, items getting stuck. It can create phantom bullets sometimes because you will actually think you have a bullet loaded in a weapon and it's really not because it's desynced. I know it's garbage. Um, so you'll be shooting phantom bullets. It'll sound like you're actually shooting, but really you're not. Um, it does happen on occasion, but it's not that bad. Like, it's not constantly, but it does happen. And uh, believe you me, you will be upset when a phantom bullet doesn't hit and you get wrecked for it. Because you'll be like, what? It'll feel like it's every time, but it's really not. Um, yeah, it sucks. It's definitely something you have to deal with. Uh, so one of the things to be on the more positive side here... We're talking about uh, the developers, what is it, on the 19th. I'm trying to find it while I'm walking here. Oh, my character's eating it. One of the things, where is it? Here it is, okay. Nope, I thought I had it. There it is. Okay, so on the 19th, it says, here's a word about Daisy moving into 2020 and the current most pressing issues. Mm-hmm. So, uh, again, I'm going to go over here to the forum. And read this and hopefully skin this chicken that is hopefully still here. Yes. It's the only way I'm going to survive this. Okay. says, Hello survivors. 2019 has been a busy year for the team with the release of six major updates. The release of the game on Xbox and PlayStation 4 and Daisy Livonia, which we are currently playing on. Oh, I didn't realize that my hands would be dirty after this. Uh-oh. Uh, Daisy Livonia on all platforms. We have been thrilled to see our players explore the game, sharing moments, and expanding the game with mods. Regarding the, lace, uh, the last major update, I cannot read. The last major update, uh, we have identified most of the causes leading to the items getting stuck or not picked up and are addressing them one by one. Still, due to their nature, due to their, excuse me, due to their complexity, it takes some time. However, will prioritize, focus, and make solid attempts to resolve these in the beginning of 2020. On the server side front, we have deployed a small update on the platforms that will help with some of the most common crashes. And that's already happened. Um, we're still actually getting those crashes. Not those specifically, but just random ones. 
Uh, for instance, I streamed last night and I crashed three times, which was a lot for a session for me. But anyways, that doesn't seem to be the most, most earth-shattering thing. We can work around that. It's the desync that really hurts. Um, boop, boop, boop. Although working on a small, on small new content, we remain committed to improving the game's stability and performance. With 2020 around the corner, we are finishing uh, our new roadmap, and we will, sh oh, geez, and we will share our goals, highlight the key updates, and talk a bit about the second year of post-release support in January. So we have that to look forward to. So I, and I said this, ooh, I said this before, I like bags. It's nice that they are aware of it and they are saying we are going to focus on addressing that issue because I'm telling you it's the most obnoxious one. There's nothing worse than beating a dude in a fight, trying to take the loot and just getting stuck uh, with not being able to pick it up. So uh, I think one of the other biggest things for the consoles right now, Xbox, PlayStation, all that good stuff, uh, would be vehicles. Now, vehicles are still definitely worth it, but my goodness, if you are in, like, Chinaris and it's really busy there, um, and you've got a lag of any sort, it's really going to hurt. Um, vehicles, when they lag, they'll have a tendency to just fly into things that they shouldn't. So, like, let's say you hit a piece of lag. When you do, it's going to throw the car in that direction, even though you're not steering it there because you have lag. And so in most cases, what that means is you're going to result in the car actually being wrecked or things will be damaged on it that you don't want it to be that will cause it to not function correctly. So um, that's huge. I know Livonia is less of an issue, uh, mostly because Livonia has a lot of open spaces. I'm actively trying to dump this in here while I'm talking to you guys. Ooh, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, I'll probably just wreck my character and we'll keep going. So, uh, yeah, driving around, it can be very fickle right now for PlayStation, for Xbox, and even e even if you have a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X, we're still getting those issues. So uh, it's gotten a little better, but really I think the best map for right now is Livonia, just because of its nature of being so open. As you can see here, boom. Uh, you can still drive around in Chinaris. I don't want to steer people away from cars altogether, but I want to give you a nice proper heads up and say, look, it's not perfect right now by any means. I mean, it's difficult to put together vehicles in the first place, but yeah, this added lag doesn't help. Okay, let's uh, let's force a respawn and try to get our gear back. So, that's at least nice to know that they're uh, going to address those issues. Um, I'm just trying to think here. Okay, so even with those shortcomings, I really think the game is still worth it. Although if you're a new player, I want to give you a, a, like a warning for those things and say, look, uh, A, the game has a learning curve to it outright, even if the game's glitches were totally fixed. Uh, on top of that, these glitches, glitches excuse me, are very frustrating. But uh, even with everything put together, the game is still a ton of fun. You see us playing it on stream all the time. And I would say if you're an open world survival fan and you've been thinking about it, do it. Just do it. Or if you're on the fence and you're like, hey, I don't know, some of these glitches sound pretty annoying, come by and watch us on stream. Uh, we'll answer questions and be like, hey, man, what do you want to know? Um, we don't get paid by Bohemia or anything like that. It's just uh, a love of the game. We've been playing DayZ for a very long time. So I just we get that question a lot on stream, so I thought we'd uh, throw it out there. Uh, let's see. So if you are playing on the Xbox or PlayStation 4, we do have community servers open to everybody right now. We have two Chinara servers, uh, again, Xbox and PlayStation 4. And it's open to everybody. And if you search Boyfriend Squad, B-O-I, you should find us. And right now on the 24th of December 2019, we've got Livonia servers on both Xbox and PlayStation. But they are open to members only until December 26th. Then after that, they'll be open to everyone. And again, the server number, or well, I mean, it's not a number, but the server is Boyfriend Squad, B-O-I. And you should be able to see that it's a Livonia map. Come on, Becky, let's do it. <laughs> and if you are currently a YouTube member and you want to know where the password is for the uh, members only server right now, if you are a member, go to my YouTube channel page you'll see a community tab on both mobile ooh, mobile and desktop. 
and if you go to the community tab you should see a members only post and that post has the password for both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox Livonia servers until December 26th so a huge thanks to the members out there that have supported that um, it's always nice or I should say I mean it is always nice but it's a nice thank you to the members that uh, have gone above and beyond so I like to do like a a, a window where they can kind of settle in on the servers and you know get first dibs but it will be open to everybody uh, shortly actually in like what two days if today's the 24th I actually don't know what day it is isn't that terrible <gasps> Sorry, pop. okay so at least we have a little bit more food and maybe we'll get over to our stuff hopefully in time so yeah, if you found this useful, be sure to drop a like on the video. It really does help out a lot. We do have a Discord um, that supports our Daisy community. That's for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. The Discord link is in the description below. So uh, click on that. It should be labeled Discord, or it's at the very, very bottom. I think it's in there twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we also have our global chats for the community servers there as well. So if you're on the PlayStation 4 server, there's a PlayStation 4 server global chat. And also there is a Xbox global chat for the Daisy community server. So anything related to those servers and platform there, go ahead and leave those messages there in the Discord. It should be at the very top of the list. And again, even if you don't have Discord, Discord's free. And it also runs on quite literally everything. It runs in your browser, it runs on Android, it runs on iOS. So uh, yeah, if you want to, that's, that's where you find it. So let's see. I think we covered most of the major issues right now. Um, loot tables seem to be good. I know some people have asked about that in the past. Um, I like the distribution of loot. I really, really like Livonia uh, as a map itself. And as I said before, I think the shortcomings right now are all with the current base build of the game and not necessarily any of the maps. Uh, like, I like Livonia a lot. Uh, Chinaris is still excellent. I mean, and that's the OG map, right? So... Yeah, hopefully uh, we helped you guys out. Uh, maybe maybe cleared up some of the issues of saying, hey, what's the game like? Uh, the current state of the game. And uh, if you guys are thinking about doing it, then maybe we helped you one way or another. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I, I love you, Bush. i to make sure we get some water before we get back to our gear. Yikes. Is that a water bottle on the table? Yeah! I'm taking it! By the way, if you pick up a water bottle to pour it out, go to the ground with the bottle in your hand, pour it out. Also, you want to do this every time you find water because the cholera chance is really, really high. Just saying. Putting that out there. There you go. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!